रोबोटिक नी रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरी वर्सेस कन्वेंशनल नी रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरी दैट इज समथिंग विच इज डिस्कस्ड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स ड्यूरिंग द कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन अ सर्जन एंड अ पेशेंट लेट्स गेट दिस क्लियर वंस एंड फॉर ऑल इन टूडे इज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट द बेनिफिट ऑफ रोबोटिक नी रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरी ओवर अ ट्रेडिशनल नी रिप्लेसमेंट सर्जरी हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर पंकज वलेचा एंड आई एम ए हिप एंड नी सर्जन इन न्यू डेली इंडिया एंड इन द लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स वी हैव हेल्प more than 10000 patients to live a normal life by conquering their hip and knee pain so let's understand the advantages of robotic knee replacement surgery over a traditional knee replacement surgery in this video number 1 higher precision which means the precision in the placement of the implant in your body and also precision in restoring the alignment of your leg why it is important to restore the alignment because that in the long run affects the performance of your knee joint even if a surgeon has used the best implant available for you but if the alignment of the limb is not desirable then it can have affect on the knee joint and it can wear faster so it is important to place your implant precisely and accurately and also to restore the alignment of your leg in a position so that the implant lasts longer although we are yet to see the long term studies because robotics is a relatively new technology but it is promising and we are very hopeful that in the times to come we'll see that implants will last longer than what they do now it doesn't mean the conventional or traditional surgery is not good please don't take that message home in medical science we are always trying to better what we are doing already and that's the reason innovations happen that's the reason new techniques come and everything is done in a way so that it gives the patient a quicker recovery a faster recovery and that brings me to the point number 2 that robotic knee replacement surgery is a relatively less invasive surgery what do i mean by that i'm not using the term minimally invasive surgery here on purpose because a lot of you will think that the size of the incision has become smaller which is not truly totally the case in robotic knee replacement surgery we have to put some guides onto the bone which gets connected to the robotic system and there is a interaction between the surgeon and the robotic system by which we are able to create that precise placement of the component by less invasive i mean that there are certain steps in a conventional surgery which are not required in a robotic surgery like drilling few pins into the bone which are not required in a robotic knee replacement surgery so if we drill less it means it is less invasive there are also certain steps in a traditional surgery where we have to enter your thigh bone in this particular robotic knee replacement surgery we don't have to do that the robotic arm is doing your surgery along with the surgeon in a way that has been planned by your surgeon which has been customized for you so it is less invasive and more precise that brings me to the point number 3 which is customization of the surgery so it just means that according to your deformity according to the severity of deformity severity of bone loss the implant positioning is decided to balance your knee in a way that you feel more natural and this decision making is micromanaged by the robotic arm so we surgeons who have been performing these surgeries for many years by a traditional technique or by a relatively less muscle cutting technique we know that there are certain moments in the surgery where you are thinking okay can i be more precise here and that's where the technology helps you so it helps us in customizing the implant placement and the soft tissue work according to the requirement of your case that brings me to the point number 4 which is faster recovery well that can be debated because when we are doing less invasion into the bone we expect the patients to feel more comfortable in the initial post operative phase we are seeing it in the early analysis but yet long term results are to be seen although we need more studies in the scientific literature to actually claim it but it looks promising that a patient may recover faster as compared to a conventional knee replacement surgery point number 5 last but not the least it helps us in doing complex knee replacement surgeries with ease for example if you have had a fracture in the thigh bone or the leg bone and you have an implant already placed in your thigh bone or your leg bone which is tibia then in majority of the cases we do not need to remove that implant let's say a rod or a nail which is lying inside your tibia or leg bone or inside your femur or the thigh bone we have to remove it to put the implant in the right place but with the use of technology we were already using computer navigation and now with the use of robotics we don't need to take those implants out and we can still perform 
a surgery, a knee replacement surgery, which is accurately placed. So these are the proposed benefits of a robotic knee replacement over a conventional knee replacement. But does that make conventional knee replacement bad? No. As I told you in the beginning of the video, we are looking at fine improvements. We are looking at greater precision, which just means that we had great precision earlier also. We're looking at a greater precision. And that's how we do innovations, that's how we improve the treatments, and that's how we improve the outcomes. So I hope in this video you understood it clearly, and if you still have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section, and we'll make a video on it, or we'll answer it in your comment. Thank you so much for watching.